In the book, you talk about the core components of burnout, and I'm wondering if you can share for us what those are, and also in the midst of the current pandemic, what aspects of these might people need to be aware about? So this is one of the questions that I'm asked most frequently is really, how do I know if what I'm experiencing is just stress? or I've left the land of stress and I'm going into something different that looks more like burnout. And, and one of the ways that you can tell is by thinking about these three dimensions of burnout. And I alluded to them a little bit um, in my own story, um, but they're really these. So the first one is you're experiencing chronic physical and emotional exhaustion. So that's hard to, to talk about right now because I think everybody's feeling some level of exhaustion because of the pandemic in various different ways in various different stages. Um, and one of the key words is chronic, right? So this is more often than not over a period of time, nothing that I'm doing is really like refueling my tank. It's just, I'm on depletion mode most of the time and I can't figure out kind of how to get that back. Um, the second big dimension is, as I mentioned, kind of that chronic cynicism that people annoy me, things annoy me, you know, relationships, clients, patients who I, you know, feel called to help or really love or interact with. Um, are all just, you know, leave me, you're like, leave me alone. I don't want to, I don't want to deal with you. And, and that's again, more often than not. And then this sense of lost impact, um, particularly like in the work context, thinking about, you start to think about, is this really what I want to do? Um, is, am I making an impact in the work that I'm having? Is my work meaningful to me? Um, is there that deeper sense of, of, connection going on. So, so when you start to experience that cluster of traits, um, and there's certainly, you know, more nuance to that, but that's how you know that it's starting to look and turn into something more like burnout versus just stress. So those are really the pieces to pay attention to. And then to think about that in the context of the pandemic as well, if I could give everyone sort of like a little formula to think about in terms of what sprouts burnout, when is it more likely to happen? It's when our demands exceed our resources. So when we have too many things that take effort and energy, um, the research would say specifically about our work, um, and we have too few resources, things that are motivational and energy giving um, about our work, we start to see that when that happens for a, a prolonged period of time, burnout can be, not a guarantee, but more likely to happen. And so when you think about that in the context of the pandemic, we have a lot of additional demands on our plate. And I think most of us kind of rolled into the pandemic already feeling a sense of depleted and, you know, stressed and things like that, you know, but now we had to navigate a, a new environment really overnight in terms of, um, you know, being distant from people who we interacted with on a daily basis, who gave us support. We're navigating, uh, you know, new technology and a new way of, of working, um, you know, there's a whole host of demands, longer hours, I roll out of bed and there's my computer, I'm just gonna go ahead and start work and I don't have any boundaries anymore. Um, so a lot of additional demands and then a lot of the resources that we were able to use to kind of rely on, whether it was just more consistent feedback from a team member, from our leader, um, you know, whether it was, you know, gosh, I've had a stressful day, I'm gonna go hang out with a couple of friends at the restaurant and, you know, we're just, we'll be able to just chat and that'll be my way of de-stressing going to the gym and exercising on a regular basis, those resources that we would use were limited or taken away from us for a period of time. And so, so that imbalance, I think, became even greater than what it was at the beginning of the pandemic. 